now you've seen the fundamental structures of a program, the types of data that you use, and the control structures you use to process that data. In this video, we're going to zoom out one level to talk about the system that we've been using this entire time and all the other ways that we can use the system to put things on the screen and to take input from the user. I'm going to begin by describing again the basic process of running our code inside of the browser environment. So the first step is to load the HTML file into the browser. And at that point, the browser knows to begin displaying the contents of the HTML file. So there might be paragraph tags or header tags inside this file. That's beginning to build all the text. After that, the JavaScript environment is ready, and the HTML file has a reference to the location of a JavaScript file. That JavaScript file loads into the JavaScript environment of the browser, and we begin executing our script.js. Now we're going to describe in more detail the process of loading the JavaScript file into the environment. One of the main things that the JavaScript in the browser is responsible for it's displaying things on screen. And we can make the distinction between uh, all of the things that specify what's on the screen and what actually gets displayed in the screen of the browser. When I say screen in this context, I mean the things that my code that I write is responsible for displaying. So everything inside of this white box. If I write any other kind of code, uh, it's not going to affect anything outside of here, anything in the other tabs anything else, anywhere else on the screen of my computer. So to be more specific, the browser is responsible for drawing the entire field of pixels we see within the browser window. So all of the shapes and colors uh, filling in of each pixel that we see inside that window. And the part of the JavaScript system that's responsible for drawing things on the screen is called the DOM. And so what this means is that we can write some JavaScript uh, and have it produce any element on the screen. We can tell it that we want a box, a paragraph, with the words hello in it inside our JavaScript, and the browser will make that appear on the screen. The other part of the system that the DOM is responsible for is when the user makes an action, so you have a submit button or something like that, and the user clicks on this button, that means that the DOM is responsible for running some part of your code in the JavaScript file. So at a high level, we can describe the DOM as representing two things. All of the elements that are on the screen being drawn by the browser as variables, uh, pieces of data inside our program. And the other one is user actions as execution of a function. That means that what we're building in JavaScript is an interface to the rest of the browser. So DOM stands for Document Object Model. And this is the way that our JavaScript models or interfaces with everything else that goes on inside the browser environment. The other thing I mean is that JavaScript is not the browser. So inside of our JavaScript environment, we get an interface to the things that happen inside the browser. There are certain actions that happen within the entire browser application that we are not able to get a hold of in JavaScript. So things like uh, this operating system level menu, uh, things like the uh, actions that happen over here at a higher level than the window. Um, so when we talk about JavaScript and the interface to the browser window, we're still talking about everything in this white box. And we're talking about a subset of the possible actions the user can make inside this window. So let's start writing some code. I've cloned the next steps repo into my computer and I've opened it inside of VS code. And this is not the starter code. This repo is different. It has some different starter code in it. So first let's look through the files to see what's inside. First of all, inside of the script.js, there's no main function. And then if we look in the index.html, uh, there's much less code here. We haven't looked in here and, and in this video, we're going to explore more of this code as well. Now that we've conceptually defined what the DOM is, we can talk more about the specific JavaScript syntax. 
So mostly the DOM is represented by two variables that automatically appear inside the browser, uh, window and document. So let's look at window first. I've loaded my DOM starter code into the browser, so now let's talk about window. Window is a variable that gets initialized by the browser uh, when the window is ready. So if I just type in the word window, then I get this variable and we can see that it's an object. Uh, there's curly braces here. And if I click on the triangle, then I see all of the, um, all of the keys, all of the fields inside of this object, and there's quite a few. And some of them are strings, some of them are numbers, a lot of them are functions. So that's normal inside of a, an object in JavaScript. You can have a key, at the key is a function. Um, so let's look at some specific things. So location is the location of the HTML file that's currently loaded. So if you look carefully at this string here, you can see that it's equivalent to the string that's in the address bar of the browser. So this object, this window object uh, with all the keys inside represents all of the data about the current browser window. Next, let's talk about document. Document is the main variable we're going to be using when we interface with the DOM. And this one represents the entire HTML page that we've loaded into the screen of the browser. So if I type document into the console, then I can see that this variable exists. I get a little bit of a special behavior here because this variable already represents something on the screen. When I mouse over it, the part of the screen that it represents uh, is highlighted for me. If I look, if I, if I click on the triangle here, then I see what's inside of this uh, variable, all of the pieces it's composed of. Um, this looks like HTML. So the browser is making this translation for me. Um, and so document represents everything on the entire screen. However, the actual uh, data structure of this variable is exactly the same as window. So if I do a period, uh, and then Chrome will bring up this menu that will help me autocomplete all the fields inside of this object, because it is an object, then I can see um, all the keys inside here. And I can look at this key, uh, dot .title, so this is the thing that appears up here in the, um, in the tab. And I can see this if I look at the head of my document. This is one of the tags in the head. Um, so this is also represented as a JavaScript key and value inside of my document variable. So everything about this page is going to be, everything about this uh, HTML document is going to be represented inside of the document variable.